we really prepared uh, uh, a little bit more carefully our collection for this year. In fact, less novelties than the years before, but much more targeted, much more uh, in line to what our customers are, uh, are looking for. The core of the business is the 1,000 to 3,000 euro uh, price bracket. And that's where we produce now uh, around 120,000 pieces minimum, what we expect for this year. Uh, we have secured 140,000 movements for this year, so we have a possibility again to make a growth step. We work very closely together with Celita. And we have then our manufacture calibers, plus we still have also some quartz uh, with Ronda. And those three uh, supply possibilities give us the possibility to continue to grow. However, there's an, another issue on independence, and that's the independence of the retailer at the moment, because there is a big war going on on that as well. More and more mono boutiques are being opened by the groups because they want to really grab more and more of the business and take the full margin all the way up to the client price. We have four mono boutiques really as experiments. Uh, quite frankly, uh, contrary to what everybody says, uh, I, I am not such a favor of it. Um, I, I like much more to work with good retailers. Um, it gives, gives the customer uh, an, an independence as well. Uh, the retailer will explain what is so good about Frederic Constant, about the company, about the product, and this is not being told by a Frederic Constant employee. Total worldwide we have 2,700 points of sale. Very long ago, like 15 years ago, we were much stronger in, uh, in Asia, and we were uh, caught one time with a big devaluation uh, of the yen, and we have said at that stage we should really try to be globally present and keep a balance. What we see is, uh, is of course strong growth in China, but we have basically uh, six, seven countries which are more or less the same. 35% of our sales is in Europe. Uh, we have always uh, pushed a lot on Europe. Now Europe has gone down a little bit percentage-wise because Asia is now 35% for us. Mm. Um, and then the United States, so we have around 10% and the rest is Middle East, Russia and Latin America.